You are listening to the IoT for All Media Network. So when it comes to, obviously, Laura and LoraWAN, they are different, but connected, obviously. Can you tell us yeah. a little bit more about kind of what the difference is when people are talking about Laura or they mention LoraWAN and kind of what how they work at a high level and just kind mm -hmm. of what they are? That's a great question. And uh, it is confusing in the market. <laughs> so Laura... Um, mm -hmm. is the phi, the physical interface, the, the radio oh, okay. chip. And Laura is from SimTech and created from SimTech. And uh, Laura is absolutely hands down best of breed technology and why LoRaWAN is the number one uh, standard in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have many companies that they license the chip to. So, so you okay. can get the chip fr from other companies aside from SimTech, sure. right? It's licensed. Sure. So there's multiple sources to purchase the chip from. Okay. And again, it is, it is an incredible solution. Now, on top of that is the LoRaWAN standard. And the LoRaWAN okay. standard is an open standard. It is the MAC la level, uh, the link layer communication standard um, that sits on top of the PHY. And okay. together, um, they create incredible opportunities for really, really looking at what our strengths are. And we can go into that later if you want. But sure. so the yeah. difference is that um, it's a standard to, again, okay. help drive it and then the PHY. Right. And yeah. So tell me about kind of the when this was created, what was the overall purpose for Laura and Lorwan in the IoT space, or even I guess maybe more relevant, how do you see it? At, like, what role does it play now in the space from a, on the connectivity side? You know, is it more aimed at certain use cases? Certain yeah. does that have certain characteristics that are worth mentioning to kind of ex put it into mm -hmm. perspective with the other connectivity mm -hmm. options out there in the market? Yeah, I, I will say that again. We were formed in 2015, and it was a very smart strategy in that, in order to scale. At, and reach all the opportunities available in the market, mm -hmm. you know, you have to be able to have a standard that can interoperate and scale. And so that was the driving point to create uh, LoRaWAN uh, as an alliance. Um, today, I, I'll be really clear, and we're clear as an alliance what our strengths are. The LoRaWAN strengths are really around uh, battery life, you know, okay. 15 plus year battery life when you're mm -hmm. uh, deploying sensors in the market, sometimes underground and very hard to reach places. Right. You don't have the manpower or the money to go and replace them every few, few years. So wireless battery operated sensors that live again, 15 plus year is a key strength of lower WAN. Sure. Our ability to penetrate underground through concrete, through okay. steel, is phenomenally uh, a part of the real strength of LoRaWAN. Uh, the ability to work with other types of connectivity. So we have many use cases with uh, Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth, with RFID, um, and many others, because we really believe that a multi-RAND approach is critical sure. um, to addressing all the use cases. You know, as an alliance, we don't feel like LoRaWAN is the, the right technology for everything. We are the right technology for our strengths. Yep. And, you know, not to go on, but let me just finish that that sure. thought. Um, the, our other strengths are around, uh, we are, have the ability to do a private network or a public mm -hmm. network, which you can't do with obviously a lot right. of cellular. Yep. Um, we have the ability to do either an, um, business models in terms of OpEx or okay. ServiceX. So again, whichever works best for the um, the specific company who's deploying, we have roaming capabilities, um, and you can roam either um, within your network on a public network or a hybrid network, which again is very individualized to LoRaWAN. Um, you know, and our really key strengths are in uh, the markets that we're serving. We do so much, but our particularly smart cities, uh, okay. buildings industrial IOT, utilities, right. agricultures, and logistics are probably the six strongest verticals out there right now. But okay. even within those verticals, we work with a lot of um, other technologies. And I'll say one last thing here, let you get a question in. Um, we do small data bytes at near real time um, okay. And, you know, it's on the sub gigahertz uh, sure. uh, spectrum. 
Um, and we don't do, so we're really clear what we do. What we don't do is large bandwidth, low latency, mm -hmm. such as video, audio. Right. right. And so that's where we work with Wi-Fi or cellular. So it's a perfect mm. technology to combine with others.